If you're like us, from the moment you first saw the unveiling of the Cybertruck, your initial reaction was something like, what in the heck inspired that thing? It looks like a Porygon and a Ford F-150 had a baby. But here's the thing, something did inspire Mr. Musk when he designed it. And sure, while aesthetically it may not be your thing, we gotta say, the story behind the unique look is pretty incredible, especially because of its ties to a certain spy named Bond. James Bond. Today, we look at when Elon Musk bought the submarine car from the spy who loved me for just about one million bucks and how this car inspired the new Cybertruck. To say that the Tesla Cybertruck is unique is quite the understatement. In fact, some reviewers went so far as to say the truck is like nothing we've ever seen. If Musk wanted to make a statement, he sure did succeed on that front. But what inspired the look and the vibe? Well, to answer that, look no further than the year 1977. Oh yes, the car of the future took inspiration from the past, but a very specific part of the past. Musk has expressed that he has a deep love of sci-fi, and when designing this truck, he looked to the cult classic Blade Runner, which grossed a modest $41 million at the box office, and 1977's James Bond hit The Spy Who Loved Me, which made a far more impressive $185 million bucks during its theatrical run. Adjusted for inflation, that's $827,967,000. Nice job, Mr. Bond. Mission complete. But it was in that Bond classic that Mr. Musk found his muse for the Cybertruck, and it came in the form of the 1976 Lotus Esprit. In the movie, this supercar not only sped Mr. James Bond around on land, but it could transform into a submarine, with Bond still at the wheel. Now, we'll say right off the bat, the Cybertruck isn't hydro, uh, inclined. We hate to break it to you, but this electric truck can't transform or submerge underwater. What it can do is survive sledgehammer strikes like it did at its unveiling in 2019. And get this, Mr. Musk has claimed that the windows will be bulletproof as well, although, as you can see in this clip when they threw a metal ball at the windows during its unveiling, they still have a little ways to go on that front. Musk has gone on record stating the angular design of his new truck was lifted right from the Lotus Esprit. As you can see, the man really loves this car. In fact, he purchased the actual car from the film in 2013 for a colossal $997,000 at an RM Sotheby's auction. To quote Mr. Musk after his purchase, it was amazing as a little kid in South Africa to watch James Bond in The Spy Who Loved Me drive his Lotus Esprit off a pier, press a button, and have it transform into a submarine underwater. I was disappointed to learn that it can't actually transform. What I'm going to do is upgrade it with a Tesla electric powertrain and try to make it transform for real. But if you ask us, the most incredible part of this story is that the couple that sold this car to Mr. Musk, they only paid $100 for the car. You heard that right. This means they made a profit of 996,500 bucks. So just how in the world did they get that car in the first place for so little? Check this out. The car was kept in a storage unit in Long Island until 1989. No one even knew it was there. In a blind auction, a couple purchased the storage unit thinking, hey, there might be some cool stuff in here, who knows? When they opened the unit, they found none other than the James Bond car hidden under some blankets. They refurbished the car, making sure that it was cosmetically restored to the way folks remember it in the movie, and that includes all the working gadgetry and gizmos from viewers' favorite scenes. The car was nicknamed Wet Nelly on set, and the name has stuck. To quote the Sotheby's website listing on the car, Wet Nelly is presented with its restored museum display quality exterior whilst inside. The full operational equipment appears to be complete and original. They go on to say that the car features a bank of four propellers in its back that allow it to move underwater. It's also powered by electric motors within a watertight compartment. That means this baby can actually work underwater, folks. We see why Mr. Musk wanted it. We gotta say, he may be eccentric, but Elon Musk sure does have a vision when it comes to designing new and innovative cars. And it looks like inspiration can strike from anywhere for this man. Will the unique design pay off? Looks like we'll have to wait for the release of the Cybertruck, which could be later this year. 
and with the surprising affordable price of $39,900 for the single motor rear wheel drive Tesla Cybertruck, $49,900 for the dual motor all wheel drive version, and $69,900 for the top of the line tri motor all wheel drive Cybertruck, we'd say this car is looking to be unstoppable. Now all they gotta worry about is it being indestructible, but we think Mr. Musk has plenty of time to fix those windows. Here's our final fact. Did you know that there is a real-life land-to-water submarine car that cost $2 million? The submarine sports car, which is also inspired by the James Bond Sub Lotus, is powered by an electric motor that allows it to reach a maximum speed of 75 miles per hour underwater. You want one? Contact Hamaker Schlemmer. You'll be driving around in the only working land sea car in the world. We'll see you next time.